Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome to Dog Agility 101. Today I decided to do a puppy haul video. Hi hi, come here. This guy. Okay, go play. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we have is this bed. It's it's a really nice bed. It has these adorable little like paw prints and bones all around it. And I don't we got it off of Amazon. I don't know what brand it is. Oh, it's Animal's Favorite. 100 uh polyester. I think that's how you say that. Um, it's the small medium size because he's just a puppy. He'll get a bigger one when he's older. So this is what this looks like. It's really soft. And to go with that, uh, we have this blue blanket just to, you know, go inside his crate so he's not walking directly, looking to the, uh, directly on the bottom crate. So it's just a normal blanket, like it's just a throw blanket. What you doing? Huh? He, he's really playful right now. Ugh. And one of my favorite things that we got is this um, blue light vest. It's from Caesar Milan, Malone, how, how, however you say his name, um, and I used it on my other dog when we went fishing. He seemed to work, and I would like pick him up from the strap, and it was just the funniest thing in the entire world. And his food is the Kirkland Cynic. Signature Nature's Domain Puppy Chicken and Pea Formula from Costco. And I seem to, I think it works really well. It looks like that. Yeah, I just, I've, um, all my life we've used, like, we've used Costco brand dog food. So, I really like this. And to go with that, we ha have the Kirkland, the Kirkland Signature Premium Chicken and Rice Formula for Dogs, uh, wet dog food. And I like to use this because it like adds a little bit more protein, a little bit more flavor into the food, and it makes your coats really shiny, in my opinion. And yeah, and. For colors, when I when I bought him, he came with this one, but it's it's a it looks like a normal everyday collar, normal thingamabob. And it's peacock. I think it's really cute. We've got his tags and his uh, no hide. His show collar. I got it for my other dog from Petco. Just a normal, cute, adorable collar. Because for agility and obedience and stuff like that, you can't have tags. So I just got him a separate collar. So I don't have to take the tags on and off. And for leashes, I have like a bunch more leashes, but these are the ones that I use the most. Um, we got this leash, it's the same brand as the Peacock Collar. Um, he chewed on it a little, so I have to go get a new one. But, I think it works really well. It's, it's, it's a short one, so it's good for, like, obedience. And just for quick training. And this one, I like to use it for, like, um, when I... I'm teaching like wheat poles and when I'm teaching dog walk 
And this leash is from Leash Boss. It's really cute. I love it. I love leashes. I have a whole leash collection. And I'll make a whole video on that later. Because it would take forever to go get through that. And for brushes, I like to use this brush. I need to clean it out. Um, I've had this brush since I got since I got my Australian Shepherd, so about three years ago. It's just a really nice brush. It's just, just nice. And I have another one that's similar to it. It has the front thing above the brush part, and then the I, I use this part to like brush the face, like just go up the nose, just because it's super it's super soft and. Yeah, this, this brush is really nice. I really like it. And then we have this brush This brush for my short hair dog, Rusty. He's a golden retriever mix. Um, we think that he's mixed with the Labrador retriever. But it's like, it's super soft. It gets his undercoat. I sometimes use it for hide. But we have a rake that I cannot find. I have no idea where I went. He had a bath the other day and lost it. And to clip his nails, this is from Bochelle, and it's just a normal um, nail clipper. And one thing I like about this, if you, this button right here, right there, if you do th that, it unclips so you can like uh, clip the dog's nails. And then goes back up. I re I really like this. Okay. Now his dog dish is from um it doesn't say. Oh, World Pets for World Pets. A large heavyweight crock bowl. And just a normal, just black bowl has a little bit more weight to it than a normal bowl, so he doesn't push it around. But he loves to pick it up and push it, push it around the living room, in the kitchen, in the living room. It is the most weirdest thing I've ever seen. And for like poop bags and stuff. I have these blue poop bags that's in this, and I have this dispenser that goes on the leash. It's just, I have no idea where these are from. All it says is Mega Roll, because it has like 20, 30 poop bags on it. But the, I won these at um, a show, actually, last year that I was working at. So, that's what these look like. Now moving on the toys. I cannot find all of his toys because he has a crap load of toys. But, these two did go together. This was a really long rope. I have no idea he went off with the other part. But, he chewed it off in his crate because I put toys in his crate at night, at, at night. Because he gets really wild at night and what. So, just to keep them quiet when I'm trying to sleep, because we sit in the same room. And, yeah, I really like these toys. Um, this is a Kong toy. I just really like it. He came with this one. And this toy I've had for a year, and before we got him, two weeks ago. This was not like this. This was the full bone. It was, like, not a single crack. Now look, it's like, wow hide, wow hide, and we got this hedgehog along with a duck from Costco, and an elephant, I like this one because I like the noise, but this is Harold the Hedgehog, and he is my best friend in the entire world, aren't ya, huh, and me and Hyde like to play with him 24-7. And also, um, this is what I had with my 
This is the toy I have with my other dog. Um, just a regular rope toy that I, it was like $5 from Walmart. It was so cheap and it lasted. So that's always an amazing thing. Amazing, 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 amazing thing. And for treats, I'm currently out of treats because we used the last one during training today. But for trainer's treats, there's actually a couple in here. Oh, hi, Rusty. Um, so these are from Blue Dog Bakery, and they are all natural, soft and chewy, perfect trainers. Grilled, and the flavor is grilled chicken and cheese flavor, and they look like that and they're really chewy aren't they puppies? hide up here no hide to this crate um yeah I just I just love these treats we bought them the day that we got to hide and I just I'm just like I am gonna buy these again I will buy those again let's see here and we also bought a thing of, oh, hi, hi, do you want a treat? We also bought a thing of uh, dog bones from milk bones, is that, what the, is that what the thing is called? No, I'm out of treats. And those are gone too. And we got like pup pepperoni sticks and rawhide bones and I spoil my dogs too much. I, I'm a sucker for dogs. So that's pretty much all the treats that we had. We, uh, we're going in tomorrow to get more. But I also clicker train him. So, good boy. So this is my clicker. Just a clicker is used for to like to tell the dog that he's getting a treat or that he's being rewarded. So he loves his clicker, don't you? And the book I use is The Beginner's Guide to Dog Agility by Lori Leach. And I've had this book for about two years. And I have read it in, side, and out. Like four or five million times. I read it all the time. But I mean, like, it has, like, stuff. Like the found laying the foundation and like a training and the training and it tells you what obstacles are and how to teach the obstacles how to build the obstacles. Um, it tells you about competitions like how to get ready for a trial, how, packing up, and it tells you what to expect when you're at your first trial and how to teach your dog its manners at a trial and or competition. Um, you know, I just really love this. Book. Just love it. I'm, I'm getting a new one like, for Obedience Rally. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but uh, my trainer recommended it to me. So. I just heard how to He has a leash. Yo, puppy! Okay. Let's go see the crate. And this is the crate that I use. I have no idea who it's by. But it's an extra large crate. It's really nice. Had it for years. Um, it's just a really nice crate. He sleeps in this every night. Well, almost every night. Sometimes he sleeps with me, depending on what mood I'm in. If I really feel like tying him to the bed or not. But yeah, this is. I just have a bunch of crap on top of it. Like just a bunch of crap. But he has an extra blanket right here it's a pillow which is a monkey and yeah hi come here come here hi hi good boy good boy say hi yeah he's a good boy thank you guys so much for watching today's video um i've decided to post every other day because every day would just be too hard so See you guys on Wednesday. Hope you're having a great day. Peace.